Are Collars & Co polo shirts worth the price or are they just another gimmicky blend of items that we see in the fashion space? Is their high price justified or do they wear out in a matter of months? Well, I've been wearing Collars & Co polo shirts for about 10 months now. I can tell you their strengths, weaknesses, how durable they are, and overall who these polos are for and who they aren't for. So whether you wanna step up your summer business casual wardrobe, or you wanna step up your style for the beach and summer barbecues, Collars & Co polo shirts might be the perfect polos for you. And just a quick reminder, this video is not sponsored. Collars & Co did not ask me to do this video. I bought all of these shirts, all these Collars & Co polo shirts and the one that I'm wearing, I bought them with my own money. So this is totally unbiased. I'm gonna tell you what I like and what I don't like, and overall, if I think they're of a good value. Now make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video. We will be mentioning some of the more affordable options or just some other options for you if you find that these polo shirts aren't for you. So Collars & Co polo shirts are basically forward-thinking polo shirts that lean more on the dressy side. If anyone's ever worn polos from certain brands or really any polo where the collar just goes all nutso crazy, I call it nutso collar, it flies away, it gets all bacony, it gets all curved, Collars & Co solves this problem 1000%. What they did was they took a very stiff collar, basically like a stiff dress collar you'd find in a dress shirt, lengthen the placket. You see the placket goes down to here. Usually polo shirt, classic polo shirt, the placket stops right here. And they made it in much nicer, shinier, business-like or dressy fabric. That way you can actually start to wear it with your business casual wardrobe, where some of the more casual polos, they really only belong on the golf course or in super, or in super casual situations. So they're very forward-thinking polo shirts. Now, when I purchased my first couple of pairs of these, I actually opened the box and I was trying to get that cardboard cutout that they put or that cardboard insert that they put underneath dress shirt collars. You probably know what I'm talking about if you've ever bought dress shirts pretty much from anywhere. And what I found with these collars is the entire collar is as stiff as a collar stay. They don't just have the collar stays that slide in right here and right here. The entire thing is super stiff, almost feels like the cardboard is built in. Now this is a really nice feature because you actually don't need to keep track of those little plastic collar stays. You don't have to worry about removing them from the wash. You don't have to worry about if you iron over them or if they bend, you don't need to actually have to keep track of all those small things. So that makes it super simple. Simple. And as someone that loves simplicity in their life, such as me, that is a definite advantage that it's one less thing I have to think about. Since these shirts come with a super stiff collar, it actually makes them pretty perfect to throw on a linen sport coat or a linen suit jacket in the summertime. And they are going to look the part. You can see the way I'm doing it right now. It is going to look the part. It looks really good, stands nice and straight against the suit lapels or against the sport coat lapels. But it's also going to keep you super, super, super cool, both stylistically speaking and temperature wise. Now this means you can work them into a perfect smart casual outfit for the summertime if you want to step up your business casual game and look like an absolute boss. This is just the classic khakis on the bottom, light blue shirt on top, threw on a navy blazer, a little bit of a medium navy blazer, linen of course, and just some nice Beckett Simonon dress shoes. Fun little belt right there. The pro of this outfit is if you actually go with a short sleeve shirt, you are going to be a lot more comfortable than if you went with a long sleeve dress shirt or even a long sleeve linen shirt, which I used to wear. I used to wear linen shirts all the time. These Collars & Co polo shirts, I don't have any more linen shirts. They truly are a thousand times better than linen shirts. They don't even need any ironing at all. So that's one big plus and that's probably the biggest positive biggest advantage of collars and co polo shirts you could actually wear them under a sport coat or suit jacket for a summertime wedding or like i said if you want to step up a business casual game now one potential negative about wearing a short sleeve shirt underneath a blazer is you're not going to get any of the shirt cuffs showing that is a small detail that can really set you apart from a lot of other guys and if you actually do have the shirt cuff showing it looks like the blazer or the jacket actually fits you whereas if you don't see it some
sometimes it can just look a little bit funny. And even right here, you could see, it just doesn't look as classic without that shirt cuff showing, but we've got to make some sacrifices if we want to stay comfortable and stay looking stylish in the brutal summer heat. So this is totally okay to do. Now I usually wear a V-neck undershirt underneath these polo shirts. Reason for doing that is because they are so expensive for a polo shirt. I feel like the undershirt actually is going to protect the shirt and also make it last a lot longer, which means that it's going to just protect your investment, right? Why wouldn't you want to protect your investment? But on days like today and for the summer, I actually have just gone sans undershirt. It definitely does make a huge difference. It's so much more comfortable. It's just 10 out of 10 as far as comfort. I wish I did it sooner. I was always trying to find some lightweight, breathable V-neck undershirts. Just decided, you know what? For the months of July and August when it's super hot, I'm going without an undershirt. And then from September all the way up till about May or June, I do wear the undershirts. So the material is super breathable, super comfortable if you do wear them without an undershirt. Now let's take a look at how the shirts are actually holding up after wearing them pretty consistently for a year. And let's see how the Quabity Assuance, no, that's not right, Quality Assurance Team actually did. Are these shirts quality in other words? So this is one of the first ones that I actually bought. It is a mini houndstooth pattern, really nice pattern. The collar is more of a cutaway collar. It's not so much as a semi-spread like this one, but totally okay. You can see the shirt is holding up absolutely flawlessly. Now, one thing I do want to mention is there was a hole in the armpit on this one right here. So I did decide, you could see my white stitches, right there. I did just go ahead, the hole was pretty small. I did go ahead and just stitch it through hand and it's actually been holding up totally fine. Things like that happen. I've had to do that with some J. Crew sweaters. I've had to do that with some buttons on some very nice suits and I've had to sew on buttons before. So something like that, not really a huge deal. Could have happened in shipping, but it did kind of have me question, okay, what's the quality of these? Now I also got one navy blue and the white and I don't know if it was this one or this one, but one of these shirts, the light blue shirts, I did get shortly after. But let's take a look at the navy blue first. You can see overall, not a lot of wear and tear around the armholes. There is no holes right there. All the seams look good. And one thing I did want to mention is these collars are getting softer over time. That is a potential negative. Again, I've only had these shirts for a year, but I've worn them pretty consistently. Someone did ask what happens if you bend the collars. It looks like it just starts to, you could see right there, this collar. You see how it's just getting a little bit bacony, even if I go like that. But over time, as you wash them, they, it seems like the collars do get a little bit softer. That does concern me since this collar on this one is a little bit of a newer, the, the newer ones that I got. I got this one at a much later date. It does concern me a bit because I feel like once these collars actually start to wear out or once they start to wear, you get some wear and tear in them, they are going to turn into those nutso collars and you are going to have to start to implicate something like a slick collar, which I've showed you before. I'll put a picture up right there. It, currently on Amazon, check it out if you want. But it is kind of a pain to have to do that every time you want to wear your polo shirt. So far, so good, but that is one thing I did want to point out. Now I do wear the navy blue ones quite a bit, I, and I only had one at first, and then when I got two, at one point I was just switching back and forth. Boom, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I did wear these quite a bit. I haven't worn the other ones quite as much, but these are gonna be the ones that have the most wear and tear. There are no fraying on the bottom, you see, sleeves look good, threads are okay, and at the end of the collars, still looks pretty good. Now the white one, pretty essential. This one I did wear quite a bit when I did have a full-time job. I got these like a month or two before I left my full-time job, so you could see not a lot of stains on the shirts, the shirt rather. That looks good. Collars look really good. Not a lot of set in dirt right there. Go 
overall pretty good. Now, quick note about the white one. This shirt actually saved me because we were in Ireland. We had a wedding to go to and I bought one of my dress shirts and this one as a backup dress shirt. I took the iron out of the cabinet in the Airbnb that we were staying in and the iron had some crazy blue stuff on it and I stained the, with a sleeve, one of the sleeves of my white dress shirt, the only one that I had. So I was able to just wear this one, no problem. And this one was able, I didn't even have to, have to iron it. I threw a tie on underneath it. No one knew that I was wearing a polo shirt. Again, the only reason that you could know, the only way that you could know is you didn't see any cuffs sticking out of my sport coat since I wore a sport coat to the wedding. So this one did save me a little bit on that trip and I'm definitely glad that I had it. All right, now one last advantage I wanna talk about is that they are wrinkle-free, like truly wrinkle-free. When they take them out of the dryer, right, or I drop my clothes off and then I tell them, please just hang them up, don't hang dry them. When I get them back from the laundromat, they come on hangers or they usually fold them up. I throw them in my backpack, I walk 10 minutes home, I take them out, I hang them up, and that's it. I've never had to take an iron to any of these shirts, and that's more than I can say about my J. Crew Oxford, my J. Crew non-iron dress shirt, my Banana Republic non-iron dress shirts. I haven't had a shirt that I never had to iron since way back in the day when I used to wear Jeffrey Bean from Macy's, which were good shirts at the time, but they were just polyester, not breathable overall, just not comfortable shirts and it didn't fit well either. So that is a huge win for Collars & Co. polo shirts. Now this simple fact of never needing to iron ever again with these shirts actually has me considering of just getting a bunch of long sleeve dress shirts since they do make long sleeve dress shirts. These shirts, same collar, sleeves go all the way down and the placket goes all the way down, the buttons go all the way down. Just because in order to not have to iron ever again or keep ironing to a minimum would be huge for me. It's one less thing I had to think about, it's one less thing I had to do and it would save me so much time and frustration. Now the other major disadvantage to these shirts is going to be price. For one of these shirts, they go for anywhere between $79 or $90. They used to be $75. I think they just raised their prices to $85. That is a lot for just one polo shirt. Now, they usually run sales. You can usually catch them on 10% off here and there. Maybe around the holidays, you can get maybe 15% off. But those sales are very far and few between. And you're really only going to save, let's say, $10 if that for the shirt, which only brings it down to about $70 or $65, which is still a lot for just a polo shirt. But when you take into account that these shirts can act as both your summer casual shirts and your summer dress shirts, that's when you start to realize that there is a lot of value in them. So although the price is high, you can just get one of these shirts rather than one expensive dress shirt and one casual polo, which you're gonna be spending over $100 at that point anyway for both those shirts. That's where the value of these starts to get really good, but the price tag is still gonna be very high for a lot of people. And that fashion forward design on these might not be for you. They do have a sheen to them, so they do look a lot more dressy. The collar, as you can see on the one that I'm wearing, it's not a classic style collar for the polo shirt. So it does more look like a short sleeve dress shirt with just a, ha a placket buttoned down halfway rather than an actual dressy collar polo. So it might be a little bit too fashion forward for people like the old money aesthetic people. So those individuals might wanna stick to the more classic styles from other companies. Now, what about other options? What if collars and cold polo shirts aren't for you? Well, the first option, you're actually looking at it right now. These are the Under Armour polo shirts. I'll have them linked below in the description. As you can see, the fit on these are really good. I've been wearing these quite a bit as well, especially in the summertime for more casual looks. The collar seems to stay intact. It is not as nice as the collars on the polo shirts, on the Collars & Co. polo shirts, but it doesn't go all crazy nutso like that. It tends to stay pretty intact. So if you're just looking for something to wear to the beach, summer barbecues, maybe trivia nights at some bars in your neighborhood, these things definitely have you covered. Although you really can't dress them up past just a khaki, nice shoes and just the shirts themselves, I wouldn't wear a suit or a sport coat over it. They are a great, more affordable option. So collars and co polo shirts and they, these I actually wear a lot more in casual situations just because I find them a lot more comfortable. And the best thing about these is these are less than half the price of these shirts. $30 for these, they're, again, they're right now on Amazon. $80, $90 right here, you could buy at least two or three of these depending on sales that they've got going on and depending on their price on Amazon. These are a lot more of an affordable option if you're just looking for a casual polo shirt. 
Now, of course, the light blue is going to look great. You do have a bit of a contrast right here, that gray contrast. I'm not in love with this gray Under Armour logo right here. It's not that bad for casual outfits, but if they did remove this or they just made it the same color as the shirt, then you really could start to dress this up a lot more and maybe even wear it underneath a sport coat just for more casual purposes. But it's there, it's gray, so it is something we gotta deal with and it's not that big of a deal if you just wanna wear them in casual environments. Now the darker colored ones, I have a couple of these in navy blue. It does still have that logo right there, but it tends to blend in a little bit more so it's not gonna be jumping out at you where it's a light shirt and a dark color logo. It's gonna be a more of a darker shirt and a dark color logo. And for me, I really enjoy wearing navy blue shirts anyway. So if I were you, I would stock up on some navy blue and you could try to get maybe the white one or the light blue one just to see how you like. And of course, if you wanna go the more dressy option, then a simple cotton lightweight dress shirt should do just fine. Yes, it's in, if it's in long sleeve, it's not going to be as airy and as nice to wear as a short sleeve shirt. But if you're not really wearing a sport coat or anything over it, it's going to be pretty decent as far as temperature wise and comfort in the summertime, especially if you start to roll the sleeves up just like this, like I've got them right here. Let's a bit of air in there. And of course, go without an undershirt like I have right now. It's going to make a big difference in the comfort or in your comfort when it is super hot. Another obvious downside of wearing a long sleeve shirt in the summertime is if you do want to wear a sport coat, blazer, or suit jacket, it's definitely going to be pretty hot. You're going to be sweating pretty bad in the summertime, even on just the mild days. You're definitely going to want to choose something in linen or like this one from Suit Supply, a wool silk linen blend and definitely go without the undershirt. It's going to just make you feel a little bit more comfortable. But if you don't want to spend a ton of money on the Cars and Co. polo shirts and you want to keep your polos nice and casual like the Under Armour ones I showed you just a little while ago and you already got some regular cotton dress shirts that you wear all the time, you don't have to go out and invest a ton of money or any more money just to look nice and just to look stylish when you're dressing for work. So this definitely could work. And as a bonus, if you do get too hot with the sport coat, you could just take it off put it in your bag, fold it up, of course, especially if it's linen, linen wrinkles like crazy, and this is going to be a lot more airy than wearing the sport coat over it. So if you've got a long commute to work, maybe you live in the city, you take the subway, or you've got a 20 minute walk to the train like I used to have, this is another great option as well. You don't have to go out and drop 80 bucks per shirt, times three is gonna be close to $300 times five is gonna be like $400 on shirts. So you definitely have more options than just going out and redoing your whole wardrobe for hundreds or even potentially thousands of dollars. So that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it helped, and I hope you had fun. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.